Sea cows are gentle mammals that swim through both salt and fresh water. They only eat sea grasses, hence the name sea cows. The animals we call sea cows are the three types of manatees and the one and only dugong. There was a fifth one, though, stellar sea cow. Named after the German explorer who discovered them in 1741, George Wilhelm Steller, these gentle mammals went extinct in less than 30 years. Stellar sea cow first appeared on Earth during the Ice Age. It was found in the frigid waters around the Bering and Copper Islands between Alaska and Russia. Unlike manatees and the dugong, stellar sea cows had a thick layer of blubber to protect them from the cold. They grew considerably bigger than their modern relatives. Most sea cows only get to be about 8 to 13 feet long, but stellars grew about 26 to 30 feet long, and they weighed almost 10 tons. Their skin was very thick to protect them from sharp rocks and ice. George Steller himself said that these mammals had very strong family bonds. If one in the group was harpooned, the others would circle around their comrade to defend it. Unfortunately, hunters enjoyed the meat from the sea cows. Their slow speed and the fact that they could not completely submerge underwater made them easy targets, which led to their extinction in 1767. At that time, many people thought the sea was inexhaustible and that none of its creatures could be wiped out. When Stellar's sea cow disappeared, people realized that their actions could lead to the demise of an entire species. It was a turning point in humanity's understanding of extinction. In 1894, the writer Rudyard Kipling featured Stellar's sea cows in one of the stories in his classic The Jungle Book. Next time on Gone From Earth, we'll look at one of the world's most famous extinct mammals, the woolly mammoth. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles, and to comment below on what other extinct animals you would like to see on Gone From Earth. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on our next adventure.